And so we covered the essentials of the DC motor control. And the next thing we will talk about the motor drivers and, and the how to use the motor drivers to control our motor. So in, in my case, I will consider this specific motor driver uh, developed by the STM Microelectronics. And, and if you're using a different motor driver, don't worry, because if you understand how this motor driver works, it will be easy to apply this knowledge to control other motor drivers. So, so right now I have the data sheet of, of, the, of, the, of this uh, motor uh, driver, and you can find it in the description uh, of this lesson. So first we have the features uh, of the of the motor driver. So the first thing is the uh, operating voltage. So it works between 1.8 and 10 volts. So so you need to be careful with that because if you apply some uh, voltage, for example, higher than 10 volts, you can you can damage the the chip. And also we have maximum output current. And also. The most important thing is this protection set. So it can, it has overcurrent and a short circuit protection, and also it has thermal shutdown, meaning that if the chip exceeds, um, if the chip um, heats up and and, it, and if the temperature exceeds some threshold, the the chip will will shut down, will switch off the motor driver. All these uh, protection units are great because if we don't use the motor driver in a proper way, it has these protection units to to switch off the the motor driver automatically. So next thing I we can look at the block diagram of the of the of the motor driver. So, uh, so first thing to note is that, as you can see, it has H bridges inside. So it has two H bridges to control two motors. So as you remember, we had this uh, schematic. So we have exactly the same schematic here, but it's just plotted in a, in a different way. So in both cases, we have this MOSFETs, but uh, compared compared to uh, this situation, uh, in in this motor driver we cannot directly control these H bridges. Instead, we have this control logic, so we can control the inputs through this control logic, and then it it generates proper signals to control these H bridges. And then, and as I said, we have two channels. So we have channel A to control this DC motor. Then we have channel B to control this DC, mo DC motor. And we have these uh, pins for for each channel. So so let's talk about these pins. So first we have a PWMA. What it means is that this pin allows us to adjust. The, the voltage between these pins, or in other words, to adjust the the input voltage to the DC motor. So it is exactly the same thing I explained just over there. Uh, and regarding the direction, uh, so before, as you remember, uh, if we turn on these MOSFETs, the current will flow this way. If we turn these pins, we, we have uh, current flowing uh, along this path, but here we have just a single pin to control the direction. So if we set this pin, uh, most probably the, the, the current will flow this way. If we reset this pin, the, the, the current will flow in an opposite direction. And, the, and we have exactly the same pins for channel B. And next, let's talk about this reference and, and this pin, sense A. So as you see, we have this resistor connected to these sense uh, pins, and we have this reference 
input voltage. So, so this is the something we have to provide. So as, as I said before, it has over current pr protection. So if the current uh, that passes through the motors exceeds some thresholds, the motor driver should turn off the, the, the edge bridges. And, and the, how we can define this uh, current threshold? And we can define them using this reference pin and, and the resistor connected to this sense A uh, pin. So this uh, threshold current is basically equal to uh, voltage of this pen, pin. So let's call it V reference. Then we divide it by the by the uh, resistance uh, connected to this pin. So we call it, let's say, sense. Okay. So for example, if the reference voltage is 0 0.5, and and if the resistance is equal to one ohm, for example, one ohm, so the the current threshold is 0 0.5 ohms. So if the, the current passing through through the through this motor exceeds 0 0.5 the motor drivers will stop operating and also we have this pin so let me make it closer reset pin so as you see from this diagram it allows us to switch off the the, the motor driver so it allows us to to uh, preserve some power so we can use this reset pin to completely shut off the whole entire um, circuit inside of the motor driver and also we have another pin uh, uh, it's called enable and fold this pin also allows us to control the the motor driver so we can turn off and turn on using this pin but also it has another um, another um, function of this pin. So as I said, if over current uh, or over uh, temperature happens, this fault pin will be in reset pin. So by reading actually this pin, we can understand the state of the motor driver, whether it is operating or, or not. And um, yeah, that's it almost, uh, except I have to explain this pin T off. So to understand it, let's go to page. To this page, page 12 of the of the data sheet. So so as I said, if we have over current or over short short or short circuit, the motor driver will uh, will turn off the edge packages. But the question is when it will turn on again and and we have this pin that allows us to control this delay so the time between turn off and turn on uh, of the of the edge bridges so by by adjusting this resistor we can tune this off time so if i said for example 50 uh, kilo ohm so if i have 50 kilo ohm connected to this pin we, I have 40 microseconds uh, of time. And, and finally, I'm, I'm going to show the circuit uh, schematic of the, of the PCB of, of the motor, uh, of the balancing robot. So here we have this um, motor driver, as you see, and we can see that we have, uh, so first thing uh, to note is that I have this VCC, which is equal to three volts. Okay, so we have the uh, voltage divider, and using the basic mass, we can we can find out that this reference voltage is equal to 0.5 volt. And another thing is that we have our sense voltage equal to 0.33. So if we divide 0.5 by 0.33, this uh, um, the current threshold is around 1.5 amps. And the other thing to note is that we have reset pin. This pin is also connected to the microcontroller. 
So by setting and resetting this pin, I can turn off and turn on the, the, the motor driver. And the rest of the things are just the default things that, that I showed in the data sheet. And the final thing to note is regarding this um, R sense. So, uh, so it is just over there in, in the PCB. Uh, so, uh, just want to point out that uh, through this R sense pin, uh, we have a lot of a lot of current passing through it. So we have a lot of current passing this resistor. So it is important to use um, bigger resistor, not, not a small one, but bigger one. That's why, as you see from the footprint, this resistor has a quite um, um, huge size. So 18 by 12 millimeters, uh, centimeters and 18 by 12 millimeters. So that's it for this lesson. And, and as I said, if you're using different motor driver, I also recommend you to find the data sheet and you can go through the data sheet of, of your motor driver if you you're, if you're not using this motor driver. And, and of course, if you have any questions, you can drop the comment in the discussion section. So uh, next thing, we are finally going to write our code to control the motors using the PWM signal. So see you there.